Hello, it's Matthew from Appointment Reminder. Today I am just going to give you a quick overview of how sequences work inside Appointment Reminder. Sequences is the name that we use um, for the ability to send multiple reminders for a single appointment. So if you want to send an email when the booking is made, and then an SMS reminder 24 hours before, and then another reminder one hour before, um, or any combination that you can think of, um, you can do that with sequences inside Appointment Reminder. So let's just hop in here and I'll show you how sequences work. You need to go to settings at the top of the screen and then sequences. So one sequence will have multiple steps. So the first thing to do is create add sequence. And we're going to call this um, SMS reminder and email. Uh, you just give it any name, it doesn't really matter what the name is, and you can come back later and change it if you want to. It's just a name so we know um, what the sequence is later so we can find it. And then, so this button here says stop when reply is received. So you might want to send an SMS say like 24 hours before, then 2 hours before. But if the customer replies to the 24 hour reminder, then you don't want to send them the 2 hour reminder. You can um, leave this turned on so it won't send the second reminder if they've already replied to the first reminder. So, in this instance, we're going to send an email uh, when the booking is made. So, we're going to send immediately. And then we can got some other options here. You can send it at a custom time like 8 o'clock in the morning or uh, whenever you want to send it. But we're just going to leave it immediately. So, as soon as the booking is made, we're going to send an email reminder. And then the script to use, we only have one script at the moment, but you can send a different script for each um, sequence if you want to. So we're just going to leave it as the appointment reminder script and go create. Okay, so we've got one step set up that's to send an email reminder um, when the booking is made. Now we want to add a second step and we're going to say uh, SMS and we're going to send this one day before the appointment. And again, we've got the same options if we want to send it at a specific time or if we want to only want to send it between specific um, times of the day, like 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., we can do that as well. In this case, um, we're just going to send it 24 hours before the appointment. And again, the script, if we want to choose a specific script for this sequence step, we can do. Or we can just leave it as the default for, this calen for the calendar. Um, so we're just going to choose Appointment Reminder Script. Click Save. All right, so now we've got two steps. One, when the email is first made, and then another SMS reminder one day before the appointment. So I think we're all done in terms of that. We can go back to settings and sequences, and you'll see that we've now got one sequence called SMS reminder and email. Now, once we've created a sequence, it doesn't do anything unless we assign the sequence to a specific calendar or to the, to the business default settings. So if we want to change it for all calendars, we would go to settings, business settings, and we change this box here where it says how many hours before the appointment should we send the reminder. So at the moment it's set for 24 hours, so the customer would just get a reminder 24 hours before. But we want to change it to use the sequence. So we choose sequence, and then we choose which sequence um, we want to use, and we've only got one, so we're choosing the SMS reminder and email, and we click save. And we are done. Now, if you want to, if you have multiple calendars connected to Appointment Reminder, and you only want one specific calendar to use the sequence, you can edit uh, edit the when to send time on a per calendar basis. So, if you go to Settings, Edit Calendars, and so if we wanted to change it just for the sequence test calendar that's connected to my Google Calendar, click on Edit. And down the bottom it will say, uh, how many hours before the appointment should we send the reminder? At the moment it's using the default settings for the for the business, which is what we just changed a moment ago. But if we wanted to change it to, a, to something specific, you can choose sequence. Um, you can choose, choose sequence and then you can set it to the, um, to the sequence we created. Or you can change this back to 24 hours beforehand, so it'll just do the one reminder. Um, we'll just leave it on the business default for now. Um, so the good way to check this is once you're done is 
you can come back to the calendar and we haven't synced any appointments yet from from my google calendar so we'll just cop on over to google calendar and we'll just add an appointment for um thursday and in here we'll put uh, matthew skilton and we'll put my email uh, matthew at appointmentreminder.com and we'll put my uh, cell phone number 22-638-9096 and go save and if we hop back to appointment reminder we should see the appointments now being loaded in appointment reminder and it has and if we click on it you'll see that it's synced the email and the phone number and it's going to use in it to and it's going to be using the when to send. It's going to be ending, sending using the SMS reminder and email sequence. So this is a good way to come in here. You click on the appointment and you click on look at when to send and you can see that it's set for that sequence. And um, yeah, so that's it. So that's a really good way to check to make sure that the sequences are set up correctly. And obviously you need to turn send it on if you want the reminders to start sending. Um, so that's all we have for today. That's just a quick overview of how sequences work inside Appointment Reminder. If you have any questions, you can feel free to flick me an email, matthew at appointmentreminder.com. Have a great day.